going to see about the sea level rise and its impact in India and its surroundings. The researchers and scientists are doing many researches and they had amal amalgamated some reports about the sea level rise and its impact in India. Let's see about that. There was researches going on for past 10 years about the impact of sea level rise in India and especially in Tamil Nadu. According to the report of ISRO in the year 2012, an area of about 3200 square kilometer will be sinked, including its habitat, roadways, railways, etc. would be sinked due to the sea level rise. Why we take this report into our hand? Because many buildings and infrastructure developments are going on in the low-lying coastal areas. None of the government have been taken this into the account. Even as the expiry of the government is 5 years, they are developing a short-term projects rather than a long-term vision. According to the 2012 ISRO report, the impact of the sea level rise would be seen continuously from 2050 so that the government should take a vision plan to reduce the disaster from now itself. As Kudangulam nuclear power plant and Kalpakam power plant are very near to the coastal areas, it seems to a greater damage to that area and the habitat. After March, the Tamil Nadu government had taken into the account the researches had been held and the report was released during 2015 but it was kept confidential because the coastal areas people would get panic. According to that report, the 10 lakh people get affected in that Chennai city itself. It's a, it's a small report only but the real report will be submitted by our team. The sea level rise would not happen all of a sudden on a one, one fine morning. Like a tsunami that it would get damaged the entire coastal areas. It's a day-to-day -day process in which we have to plan systematically for next 30 years to approach the greater upcoming disaster which is the high tide flooding. Even after the 2015 Chennai flood and 2016 Varda cyclone damage, the Tamil Nadu government didn't come forward with new rule or law or any plan or a project which includes the 2012 ISRO report and 2015 Tamil Nadu government report. Mainly we want to come with the project how to reduce the impact of sea level rise and how to manage the coastal regulation zone rules by not allowing the infrastructure development in the low lying coastal areas. In Chennai master plan, the census says that about 85 fishing habitats exist in Chennai alone. These habitat areas are very close to the coastal region and the seashore. According to the report, the sea level rise would be 3 to 3 and a half feet by 2050 and it may rather double by the year 2100. All people know about the sea level rise is due to the global warming. So that there is nothing confidential about that report and the Tamil Nadu government should release immediately about the report and the cause and damage of the sea level rising. Now what is the scenic beauty is that even after knowing about sea level rise impact, the government is allowing multi-storage apartments, infrastructure projects in the coastal areas, for instance at ECR, OMR, etc. Why the government can't reduce the urbanization development in the coastal areas as the areas are prone to sea level rise? Even IIT had prepared a report based on impact of sea level rise in Chennai alone. That is, sustainable fisheries habitat is being mentioned in coastal regulation zone rules which should be taken into the account by State Coastal Management Authority. The State Coastal Management Authority is the sole responsible but they didn't take any necessary action. What we can do for this problem? The way forward should be an integrated sustainable coastal zone management which the government should take into the account. The coastal regulation zone rules had been amended in 2011 and the government of India had sent circular to the all coastal states about submitting a, a coastal zone management plan. But after 7 years, the government didn't even submit a plan to the government of India.
the government should immediately prepare a sustainable coastal zone management plan which includes sustainable fishing habitats and the points of precautionary measures from 2012 ISRO report and 2015 Tamil Nadu government report. The fishermen and every citizen should work hand in hand with the government for this plan. Riots and dharna will not be a conclusion for any matter. It's our fundamental right to get our right.